Hello everyone! And in this video, I'm going to show you why exactly I uploaded this video. Unity 3D dash Unity 5. Let's make rolling down wheels with gravity. And let's just go back to Unity 5. So I have here my old car, my old environment, but something will change it. I mean, something was changed. And here we go. I added grip, grip for wheels. And now you will feel difference. So I will show you two versions of the same car but with different behavior. So let's just hit play button and I will show you the difference. So this car, so this behavior is old. So I'm going to press W, I release W and my car stops immediately. I press S, release S and my car stops immediately. Then I press W and D, I go onto this ramp, I stop, I just release my button, my buttons and you can see that my car just stuck. It just stick to the ramp. But if I go any you know up and up you, you can see that my car is like Spider-Man. It's just like Spider-Man. It, it just, you know, stick to the ramp. And it's not very natural, right? So let's just go back to our surface. So this is uh, all behavior of car. All behavior not very natural. Oh, my window is broken. God damn it. And now I'm going to show you behavior number two so version number two so I'm pressing G G stands for grip so I press G and now you can see that I press W I release W and my car is still moving I press S release S and my car is still moving and now let's try something else let's try the same uh, ramp but with different behavior of car. I just go up. Okay. And we're going up, up and up. And we release W. And we can see that car now moving by itself. So S. I'm not pressing anything right now. Car is moving by itself. So this is a power of gravity and power of grip it's not like it was before so it's different now so now I'm going to press G again and you can see this is how car behaved in previous versions so it was like toy not natural car but if I press G again this is new new behavior of car so this is how it, it, it behaves it just you know moving slowly down and down so it's a friction it's uh, it's grip and it's real physics now it's not like toy physics but if I change angle so now so I'm going to do this my car will move you know much you know faster down so I, I'm not pressing any button now so it's just moving by itself and now I'm going to test an uh, other ramp and I'm going to test waves. Waves. So let's just go down and let's just test this ramp. Uh, let's just test ramp. Ramp. This, you know, small one. And press G. So we're now in the old version of physics. Old one. Now I press G once again and we just go down. So it's a natural physics now so natural okay I'm stuck I'm stuck I need to press air to restart let's just try the waves and let's just press G once again to go back to new I mean to old version of physics so now it's old version of physics old so the car stops not very naturally not at all and it will behave also not very naturally on the waves. So I go here, and you can see that physics is not natural, but if I press G, it will be different. Look, 
Now physics of car is much better because uh, I added grip and friction for wheels. And now I press G once again to get back to old physics. And now you, you can see a little difference, so it's not so good. You know, it's not very stable, so my car is flipping very often, but with new ones, so it's a, I press G once again, so it, you know, it's much better. Much better. And now let's test hills. Hills. So now I'm on new version of physics. Let's switch back to old physics. I press it G once again and we stop just immediately. You know, just like train, just like, you know, train. So this is old physics, old grip. And the same is happening on the hills. So you will never see car stops like this. You know, like this. And I press G now and new physics is in action. So you can see that my car is moving by itself on hills. You can see that, right? Okay, I, I'm stuck. How <laughs> well I'm stuck again. Great, and it doesn't work. It's once again, it's new physics. It's a different one. So, with grip, with friction, and with proper uh, behavior of wheels. So we are now on proper version. So we are going to go here, and we now press space. We hold space. We release space, and we go down. And let us go to old physics so now I'm pressing G G and now we are in old version so the same you know old way of uh, you know how car stops so suddenly and not very naturally well, and also the car rotates not very naturally in old physics so now we are in the old version old and if we go on the hill so the car just like you know stick to the hill and also you see that our wheel is stuck it's because uh, you know the physics is old now we are pressing G and go back to new physics and our behavior is much better so now the car is moving by itself in some cases boom And speed of car was increased to make it like 20, uh, you know, 220 uh, kilometers per hour. So now speed is increased because, you know, the previous speed was not very correct. Because, you know, such car should have a higher speed. So, you know, bigger speed for a better uh, simulation of... Uh, and now you can see that uh, also simulation of damage was, uh, you know, enhanced. So now you cannot, you know, destroy your car with one touch of, you know, some wall. So now the damage is more realistic. So you will never destroy your car by one touch of, you know, ground. So it should be serious hit. Yeah, now let's press E and press G and now we are in old uh, I mean not in old now we are in a new physics so car is behaving like you know more realistic now let's test the uh, skid marks so skid marks also were improved so now you can see that uh, the skid marks are now you know like wet so I'm going to show you what I mean when I said uh, they are like wet, so I'm going to increase my speed and press uh, and pause uh, the game. Now let's go to our car and you will see that skid marks now are like wet. Wet because they are fresh. So you can see that we have this you know, skid mark and they are actually wet. This is another you know, white color. It's 
specular map. And also they have in all this not only color, they have in all this filling of fresh skid marks. So the old skid marks will be not so uh, bright, they will be more gray and transparent. But new skid marks are like, you know, specular with this color white and they are like, you know, reflecting the world. Also, what was improved? It's a position of uh, skid marks. So, that, so now they are located not in front of wheels here, now they are, you know, behind the wheels. So that, that that's now proper. So I think that's all for now. So this is a small, small but so a huge update for this project. So now car behaves more realistically and more randomly. So on hills, on the waves, on ramps, on the ground, on the flat uh, territories. Uh, so that's great. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching once again. See you in the next video of something we're interested in or maybe not we're interested in. Have a good time. Bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. See you later. Bye.